Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm gonna do it. You guys have fun. Perfect. All right. All right. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I know this was super short notice, but when when a few of us were going back and forth in a boxer and Trina started to talk and talk about how she gets um, her prospects and customers on the shred and how she works with them and how she gets them excited about it and how she follows up with them and how she retains them as longtime customers. I said, we need to hear from her. So I'm super excited and she like whipped out this beautiful presentation for everybody tonight. So we are recording this and it's going into the Team Transformers Facebook group. So that way, anybody that's missing it, you can share it with your team um, or sidelines. And then afterwards, uh, we can hammer questions at Trina, but she does have to go by about eight o'clock because she has a different Zoom. So, all right, thank you. All right, thank you guys um, for coming on. I hope that this information is insightful and helpful and I definitely want to help you. You know, the goals of this training is, let me move my little picture in here. The goals of this training is to one, help you create momentum and excitement in your business. We all want that. We want to have fun and have a, a good time with uh, our community. And then help others create um, health using uh, healthier lifestyle using the Juice Plus products as well as the Shred 10 guidelines. So, what are the benefits of looking at and using the Shred 10 as a way to you know do those things for yourself and for prospects and customers? Is you're going to inspire healthy living with Juice Plus, but beyond that as well within their everyday life. And you're also going to be able to give them the full line uh, product exposure. Um, Tower, Garden, Tower Garden is obviously optional and personalized care. This is where the customers are going to be both seen and heard and they're going to feel special. And that's what we all want is to be seen and heard. And then customer retention. This is one of the things that I hit on with Karen is I have noticed that when I get somebody on the shred, I've had them be consistent on average about two shreds and then life gets in the way and they get busy. However. I am getting repeat customers and the way I have it set up is that I at least get that second shipment to them. So now not just four months that they're on it, that we're looking to do the eight months. And I have several customers that have been on this for a year and the shred was the hook. That's what got them interested. And then beyond that, and that's why I say the beyond, I was able to help them, you know, make healthier decisions, healthier lifestyle, and they have stayed with their juice plus. So one of the first questions I get is, you know, initial messaging, how do I do this? So before I get into the initial messaging, um, first of all, I want you to know, I have a Word document that we will get out so you guys can look at this. You don't need to be taking a ton of notes, uh, just enjoy the message. And I have it all typed out verbatim. And then also, this is my personality. I put my twist on it, take it, run with it, be yourself. And then the next thing is, before I send out this initial message, uh, this is something that I send out after I've already had some conversation with people. Um, maybe I've seen a post and I know that they have a need and that the Shred 10 might be an answer for what they're doing. Or we've just been going back and forth about lifestyle or how they're doing. And I'll just say, you know, I, I don't know if this was as a good fit. So I gave you a couple of different messages that I like to use. And the way I do this, because I really try to streamline my life. I'm busy. I have eight-year-old twins. We got a lot going on. We homeschool. Um, just like you guys, we have a lot going on. And so I actually keep this in a Word document, and then I cut and I paste. Now, I do change it and make it, massage it a little bit so it's a little bit more personalized. But here's a, a basic pr uh, message that I would send out. So number one, I don't know if this is of interest to you or not but I'm getting a group together to do a 10 day program that starts at the beginning of each month. This helps us all restart or focus on our health goals each and every month. It's for anyone who wants to change or jump back into an, a healthy, active lifestyle. And then I say, there are 10 guidelines. I recommend using or choosing one to two to focus on each month. And I love the flexibility. It allows you to adjust, focus, and build up a healthy, uh, living a healthy life in whichever areas you need. This is about healthy living for the rest of your life. 
although none of us do it 100% of the time. I know I don't, or I'm not. Let me know if you're interested and would like to learn more. So that is one of the, the first messages that I, I have. And again, this isn't a Word document, so you guys can get this. And then another message, I like to just switch it up sometimes, depending on per, people's per, um, personalities or what we've already talked about. But here's another one, another idea is, I don't know if this is interest you or not, but last month I joined a Shred 10 group and I love it. I'm, and then you fill in the blank here. This is where you put in your, your habits, your outcomes, you know, you're drinking more water, you have more energy, you feel more focused, whatever, whatever it is for you, you fill that in. And then this helps us all restart or refocus on health goals each and every month. It's for anyone who wants to change or jump back into a healthy, active lifestyle. Now, I mean, here's where I put some common results and you'll see there, you know, I, I list them. And then at the end, I just say, you know, let me know if you'd like to learn more. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I can send you an invite for an online event happening if I know of one, or um, I can send you a quick video. Either way, let me know if it's a good fit. Great. If not, that's okay too. The invite is always open to you. And I like adding that in because it gives people that out. Like it's okay. It's okay if you say no. And, um, uh, and I really do feel that way. I also like they say it's always open for you. So that's my initial. And then after the initial, you guys, a lot of this is around, you know, the, 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 the fortunes and the follow-up, right? And so there is some follow-up with that. And I do have a couple things that I, I use. Again, a lot of this is scripted so that I can quickly follow up with people. And, you know, the first one, just like, hey, I'm circling back to see if the interest in the 10-day program. This month, it begins March 6th. I'm getting everyone what they need to be prepared. Let me know if you'd like to learn more. So there's a little bit of sense of urgency with this type of messaging is like, I'm getting people ready. Also, it shows that there's other people involved and that they're not the only ones doing it. So that'd be one follow-up. Now, if they say yes, which is fantastic, right? That's where we're like, yeah, this is where we say awesome. The best way, and here's where I quickly send over to them the video that Julie Earps has done. And she goes through the whole program. Now I'm letting them watch and spend that, you know, time watching the video. And then again, I say, you know, choose one to two habits that you want to focus on this month and we can build from there. And I just let them know you don't need to be overwhelmed. Um, and it just really is about making some simple changes. And here's where I, here's where I invite them to do a Zoom call with me. And this is where they, they begin to see seen and heard is I say, let's get on a Zoom call so I can talk to you about your goals, answer any questions you have and get everything I need to, to get ready for them on their end. And then I ask them a question of, will you be able to watch the video by Tuesday or Wednesday? And this gives me the, an idea of how soon they'll be able to watch it and allows them to commit. And um, then I'll know when to follow up. And then obviously I, I send them the, the, the video that Julie has. Um, and then after the video sent, if I haven't heard back from them, because oftentimes people just get busy, right? And I'll just say, hey, I hope you have a great, great week. As promised, so here I am, I'm showing up for them. I'm following up in regards to the Shred 10 program. Did you get a chance to watch the short video? A lot of people like that, the short video that I sent over. If so, are you available? And now I'm asking them to get on the Zoom call. And then I say today or tomorrow, and let's get you going type of thing. I'm excited. And so that is another message that I use for, for sending. Now, a lot of times I'll have gone through these things and people are even busier and maybe not as much of a priority to them, but I know, hey, I need to get this order in certain amount of days before the shred starts. So let me do this. Let me now send a little bit more of a more forward a message. And so this is what I typically send, which is we're ramping up for the March 16th shred. Let me know if you're still interested. We only have a little bit more time left to make sure that you have everything you want and need. Okay. And so then from there, um, we go into, so that's the follow-up and I, I love you guys just jot down your questions that you have around that. Um, this does, you know, again, it just, these are just ways I use the messaging, but sometimes it just depends on what the conversation is. Um, with some of those things. So what happens if you get no? All right, so if no, I love to do this and I have, I have used this. Um, I have a distributor, her name is Sarah. You guys, I asked her so many times to go to events that I finally said, Sarah, 
do you want me to invite you to events? It's okay to tell me no. And she's like, no, keep inviting me. And eventually she did join the shred and uh, she did become a distributor. She's not overly active, but she loves the shred and she's doing her juice plus and she's now helping her kids with it too. Um, and so I do ask that because if people don't want to be invited, I, want, I would rather be a friend with somebody and who knows what will happen in the future than for somebody to feel like I'm just overwhelming them you know, with these questions. Um, so if they don't reply back, that happens all the time as well. Um, you know what? I go back within a couple of weeks and I invite them again to the next one. So I'll just be simple. I'm like, hey, girl, happy Wednesday. Our next, you know, our March Shred group is coming to a close. It was great. Let them know that they missed something. But then I invite them to the next one. And you can see the verbiage there that they uh, that I offer. And, you know, just close it with, I hope you have an awesome day. Another idea is gosh, for some reason, your name keeps popping up in my head. And I thought I'd see if your timing is better now to join us for Shred 10. We have another start date coming up April 10th. Are you ready to join in? Oftentimes, this is really about themselves. And maybe they're thinking about it, you know, personalities, they take longer, or, you know, it's just not a good time of life. You know, they have a bunch of birthday parties. They're like, no, I'm not gonna say no to the birthday cake. Um, so whatever, whatever it is. And so I just ask them if they're ready. So once you get to the yes, because if you just stay consistent, you will start getting those yeses, even if they were no's in the beginning. And if you get that yes, then you just go back to sending them that video and doing the follow-up until you get them um, taking Juice Plus. So one of the questions I often get is, um, how much does this cost? Is this free? Before they've even looked at the video. Now, this is how I choose to, to answer this question. And I say simply the accountability coaching, the accountability, the coaching, and the Facebook support group are all free. The investment depends on which plan you choose, and it averages to $120 to $158 a month. This way, I do this because I know that they understand that there is an investment, that we get on a phone call, and that there's, there's something involved for them. And if they're out, then they can, they'll, they'll make that decision right ahead of time. And I'm not spending time talking to them or convincing them um, that they should do this. They're making that decision right from the get-go. Or they might come back and now I can adjust, address some objections. The other thing is I know the quad is 112.50. And if I can get them on the quad and maybe the shakes, I know that I've already given them the price range. And it's easier to go down than it is to go up. And so I like to give them that, that price range. And the next thing is the mindset with this, okay? Um, you know, one of the things I didn't put on here, but I've heard a lot of is, well, I, I wasn't doing the shred, so I didn't involve other people. And I don't think that's a good enough reason. I think that's an excuse to not be focused on this. Now, if you're not wanting to be focused on the shred, I get it. We like we all have to choose, you know, where we're going to put our time and our efforts. But that can't be that the excuse because that means that we're not sharing possibilities for somebody else. I'll bet that most of us are doing some part of the shred, and that's the most important thing: is that you're still being uh, true to yourself with some of your health goals. And maybe that makes you bump up a little bit. But even if you're not, it's not a good enough reason not to touch the lives of other people. And so, what some of the other mindset things is. Understand that people will pay for what they value and what they want. I have a good friend of mine. She would always be like, I don't have money. I don't have money. Let me tell you something. When football season came around, she will buy the whole football package. I mean, we've got red zone in this room and this, you know, this game on in this room and TV's on. It's all in. And it really taught me that, yes, she will spend money, but it's what she values. And so don't be afraid of going and being forthcoming with, you know, these are the, this is about the average of what you'll spend on, depending on what you choose. And then people are busy and it's a priority for us and not necessarily for them. So be patient, give them that grace and understanding and keep nudging, just like Sarah, just keep inviting, keep inviting, keep inviting. Eventually they're gonna tell you no, or they're going to join in and uh, make differences in their own life. And then discipline, discipline those disappointments, it happens. Um, you know, I have people that I spend the time and then they choose not to, to order anything. I've had people who have done it um, for one month and then they canceled, you know, their orders moving forward. Those things do happen. However, they're not 
the, the, the most of the things that happen for me. Usually once I get people in to this groove and into the Zoom, which I'm gonna go into next, they're already saying yes, and I've been able to retain them. We'll talk about that. And meet people where they're at. And that's where one of the things that I have adjusted with the shred is meeting people where they're at. And that's why I talk about, um, you know, choose one or two things with this guideline. So I'm gonna hit on that right now. So once I get them on Zoom call, all right? So I, I send them the link, we set up a time, we're on a Zoom call. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is have some conversation, right? Like, how was your day? How are you doing? Um, you know, tell me how's Tom doing? Whatever it is that you need to have just a little bit of conversation. And then I just say, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and review the guidelines. And I read through it. I pull it up. I share it on my screen, just like you guys can see it there. And I go through it, okay? And I don't say anything. I don't ask questions around it. I just go through the guidelines. And then when I'm done, I say to them, which one of these is a no way I'm not doing it for you? And there's always one, maybe two, maybe three, I don't know, but there's always at least one. So for instance, no way I am not getting out my coffee. Now for me, if somebody's saying no way, then that's where I say, okay, that's fine. I love that you're already, you know, which one you're not going to do. Maybe it's, we're going to work up to that. But right now, let's just talk about more about what you will do. So what are the, out of here, what are the one to two goals that you're going to focus on for the March 6th shred? And now we go through it and we talk through it. And a lot of times they start to open up, like, you know, I feel like I eat drink enough water, but, and I'll say, you know, how much is that? And now we're having conversation. And now the guidelines aren't just a strict guideline. It's more about what their goals and their dreams are and what they want. What does exercise look to you? And then we talk about that. And I say, okay, what, what are you willing to do? Now, I always give them a little bit of a stretch goal, okay? Because I think it's important to stretch people. And everybody will come in differently. You know, I'll come in, people will be like, oh, I can do six of these, no problem. And so that's where I say, okay, what's the one or two that you want to work on to enhance, you know, this, this um, experience you're having? And obviously, you know, I've already talked to, you know, we've already said the, the shakes and the capsules, and I don't hand them too much. It's really, what are your goals around, you know, the water, the exercise, the caffeine, the alcohol, all these things. I, I go into that with them. And then I encourage a six month plan. So some of the value with that, the encouraging the six month plan is it builds vision for somebody to say, okay, over the next six months, I'm going to continue gradually working on these things. So for instance, if month one, they're like, I'm going to drink more water and I'm going to take my juice plus. And I'm going to take it every single day. All right. So for the first 10 days, that's their goal. And then I'll say, okay, let's work on that for the full 30. Now I want you to write out a six month plan. Month two, what are we going to add on top of that? And it could be one, maybe two things, depending on where the person's at. And now they're making a six month plan. Well, you and I both know that four months in, they're going to get another shipment. And now we have them already taking it for the four months. And now they've got that second shipment. Now they're going to be on it for the full eight months. And now is where we continue to educate and uh, get them moving forward. All right. So one of the most important things is work on their goals, set some time, and then go directly to them and ask them, what plan are you interested in? Let's get you started and get the order and get the initial thing that they're interested in. But I'll tell you, there are a lot of times that I've been able to go from, you know, um, you know, the, the, the fruit and the vegetable, and maybe I'll add in the berry, depending on, you know, some of the things they're looking for. But oftentimes I'll say, hey, do you take a fish oil? Yeah, I do have one or no, I don't, whatever it is. And I'll say, you know, you might want to consider replacing your fish oil with the omega. And now I, uh, I'm able to let them know why, why the omega is so much more powerful then maybe the fish oil they're taking. Do they do they know if their fish oil is doing any good? Do they know when it's going to your body that it's it's already rancid or how it's capsulate encapsulated or you know you can go down that rabbit hole and um, they a lot of times I'll be like yeah you know what I I can I can go ahead and add that and I have been able to to do that upsell um, so do not be afraid to talk very um, uh, with with confidence about our products and what they can do to help somebody. And then we, I do do go into the family rebate verbiage, um, especially if they've ordered several products. I have that. I didn't share the, the verbiage here. Um, you can find it in the Shred 10 
um, in the boards app. There's a verbiage that Shelly Mackey has done. And I've also added it to the Microsoft Word um, uh, that I, I that you guys can get as well. I've, I've shared two different ways that I've just you know massaged how to do that. And I've had a couple of people become distributors because of that, um, that verbiage. So I let all of my customers know up front, like, hey, you can join this, but I do it in a very soft way. And if they say, no, I'm not interested now, then I'm okay with that. Now, the next step is make sure that you're sending them free resources, right? Like, hey, get them that Shred 10 guide. Um, if it's summertime, get them that the summertime cookbook. Um, if they're like, hey, I'm doing the complete, I just need to some shake, you know, give them the complete shake recipe book. There's so many different things and tools to help them feel supported. And then make sure, of course, that they are added to, to the Facebook group. So during the event, obviously we have um, our group where we're posting. I like to check in every few days and now I'm able to be really personal, personal with what their goals are. Like, how's your water? How'd you do it today? And they're like, ah, I'm not doing so good. And I'm like, hey, we're already we're only two days in time to, you know, get back going on it. You know, what do you need? And we can talk around, you know, some solutions. What are some of their challenges with that goal? And now this is where I'm giving them value add in addition to you know, obviously them taking their juice plus. We wanna make sure that they're doing that consistently as well. Touch on their goals and then educate and offer resources where they need. And then the follow-up after the event, I mean, this is this is great. You already had them doing one, one shred. Um, so, you know, I like to follow up with some questions like, you know, how did it, how did it go for you? Um, what was your busy, biggest success? And what did you see as a change? And I like to stay on the positive. Hey, what was your success? They're like, well, I didn't do so great. I'd be like, all right, of the 10 days, how many days were you successful? And I, I get them talking about their successes and then moving them into, hey, let's, let's get you going and working on that for the rest of the 30 days. And then we'll be back in touch for the next Shred 10 as well. And then, you know, how can I support you moving forward? Uh, save the date. The next one starts um, April 10th. So one of the questions I'll, some people ask me is what's the monthly timing of this? So there is a rhythm to this. I found that if I get out of rhythm, everything comes unglued a little bit, right? Like we're right now we're like March 6th is right around the corner. February is a short month and it hits you in the face. Um, and so there is a little bit of a monthly timing. And so just to give you an idea of what that's like is week one, which is during the shred, this is where I'm, again, doing the customer care, talking to everyone about you know, how they're doing um, and doing that and touching base with them. But now I'm starting out with some new connections. And this isn't, I'm not inviting yet. I'm just reaching out and being like, hey, how are you doing? Um, you know, doing some follow-up emails you know, or messaging. I do a lot of online stuff. So for me, this is where I'm just doing some new connections. But come week two and three, that's where I start my inviting. Um, it's where I'm doing my follow-ups. I'm getting those orders and I'm working those Zooms call, Zoom calls. And it's not always late, too late in week four, depending on um, when you, you know, get the product. But even if you get a late order and you know they're going to be two or three days into the shred, there's a couple things you can do. One, you get them started on their goals or you just say, just adjust it. I've had people say, I want to do the shred, but I'm going to be on a long you know, vacation for that week. I'm like, don't worry, just start it when you get back and go 10 days. This is where you meet people where they're at. If they don't do it in those 10 days, who cares? Who cares? As long as they know that they're getting your support and the resources and everything they need to do to focus on those days, then do it. So get those last minute uh, follow-ups and those last minute orders in week four. So that is it. I uh, had to remove everybody's wonderful faces. So I hope that this was um, helpful. I'm coming back over. And uh, I know I would cruise through it, but I wanted to answer any questions you guys might have. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. Thanks. I will I will tell you for me, you need to train more often. You do a beautiful job, first of all. Um, and I will tell you for me, I love the way that you really take the pressure off of them. That's what really got me is you're like, let's pick one or two. I'm always like, okay, here's the 10. And they're like, well, I can't do, you know what I mean? And then I make them feel so overwhelmed. Like you got to go from going through a drive through at McDonald's, to all of a sudden doing these 10, you know, things and people just aren't there. So if we can connect them and make them, you know, hey, this is a six, eight month journey. And if we keep them on Juice Plus, then yeah, they're having the experience and they're going to stay on it, you know, which is awesome. And hopefully become partners. 
Yeah, I have a good friend. Her name's Suzanne, and she uh, she's been on Juice Plus for probably three years, and originally started with Shred. And she was like, "I'm not gonna cut out dairy," and like I was trying to get her to cut out dairy. And she's like, Trina, every Friday I go to lunch. I love the sandwich. It has the cheese on it. And I'm like trying to talk her through, like, how can you not have the cheese? And finally I get to the point, like, why am I beating my head against a wall when she's doing juice plus she's making so many other healthy lifestyle changes. And I think that's when I started to be like, you know what? I need to adjust and meet people where they're at and what they're willing to do. And then I'll dig a little bit each month and try to, you know, get them to keep going. And she's still on juice plus. That's awesome. I will say what, when you follow up, I have something in my, I'm sorry. When you follow up with them, you don't follow up with them even every day. It's every few days. And right. are you texting them or you're calling them? Or It both? just depends. It, just, it depends. I do a lot on Facebook message via text, but um, it just depends on, on the person and, and how you're doing it. You know, the one thing you don't want to do is be that person that they're like, oh, Trina's message. Here she comes at me again. And so if you're feeling that that there's a little bit of that, sometimes I'll slip in just a regular like, hey, just stop in and say hi. Um, how are things at work or whatever we talked about? And that's the importance of building the rapport is that you're not constantly just being like shred, 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 shred. You know, there's like shred and then, hey, we're doing this. And oh, by the way, shred's coming again. And, you know, how are you doing? And, you know, just continue to build that relationship. And I have some people, they'll come into shred and then they'll stop. They're just like all of us, right? Like we, we, we go like this sometimes and that's okay. And, but that's why I always let people know, just come back when you're ready. Yeah. But keep taking your juice plus. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. If the one thing you do it, take juice plus. Okay. Does anybody have any questions or need clarification? And I know if you missed in the beginning, Trina was nice enough to um, send a word document and we're going to figure out whether I can maybe do it to the files in like Facebook or how we get it to everybody that wants it. So we'll figure that out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was just looking at the chats and, and Tammy, yep. I uh, Tammy is one of my distributors. We're actually doing a presentation tonight and she, you know, we started out with Shred and um, it's been so great. I, I love that she was on my team. Hey, Trina, this is Doug. Yeah. If you want to, um, if you guys want to email me that document, I can just save it on Google Drive and then put a link to it on the Facebook group. Okay, on, yeah, if you can just- On this video. Throw that into the, the chat, your- um, Okay. Email, and then I'll, I'll send it over to you right away. Okay. It's Karen too, but if you, if you want to just create a document, that's great. So I hope this helped everybody. It was great. Yeah. It was I know, great. I, I will be rewatching yes, it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. So good. I'm yeah. Really I'll definitely watch this again. Great work, Trina. Thank you so much. Yeah, and if you guys have questions, just reach out to me. Um, I, I I will definitely answer any questions you have. Or, um, and you know what, this is just how I do it. This is what works for me. You know, in board, Shelly Mackey has a huge, you know, so much information, so many resources. And for me, I just fell in love with. I'm I'm getting people on more than just one product through this, and um, that's where I've been able to see my customer care go. You know, my customer base go up, and then. Um, uh, that's been it's been fun to watch okay if we don't have any other questions we're going to stop the recording and